Good morning. I've created this morning practice to complement our weekly yoga class together. I've included some stretches that I think would be wonderful for you to integrate during your week's home practice. So we'll be starting standing. And as, as we practice together, really noticing what movements are feeling comfortable for you this morning or this afternoon whenever you do this practice, and really honoring what feels best to you. And please make any adjustments you need to make this practice the best it can be for you. Your feet are <clears throat> parallel on your mat, about hip width apart, keeping, <clears throat> it's really helpful to have the ankles, the knees and hips in the same plane, the same alignment. It helps for balance and it helps, uh, helps us practice in a very safe way. I'd like to begin with some sun arms, hands in front of the heart, breathing in and sweeping the arms up, gaze up, exhale, reaching out as if you could touch the walls, inhale, crossing arms in front, and again, sweeping the arms up, gaze up, exhale, arms come down, cross in front, and then again, breathing in, arms flow up, interlace fingers and turning the palms up toward the ceiling, Getting a lovely stretch for yourself, separating fingers as the arms come down to your sides. Really nice. Some movements for, gent for the neck, some gentle stretches. As we breathe in, lifting chin, gentle stretch of front of neck. Exhaling, chin flows down to throat. Inhale again. Chin lifts. Exhaling, chin flows down to throat, and come back to center. Nice. Inhale, and as we breathe out, turning head toward the right, flowing back to center, and then with out breath to the left, inhale home, exhale to the right, return, and with the next breath, turning head to the left, coming back to center. Really nice. And let's do some movements for our shoulders. So breathing shoulders up to the ears, back, down, and forward. Up to the ears, back, down, and forward. And again, up to the ears, back, down, and forward. Beautiful. Now coming forward with breath, Shoulders coming forward, down and back, up to the ears, forward, down and back. Good, really nice. And again, breathing the arms up, interlacing your fingers, get again a lovely stretch for yourself. And letting now the right arm come down to the right side, the left arm is extended up, and with the next breath, tipping towards the right and feeling the stretch all along the left side of torso, face relaxed, shoulders soft, belly soft. Inhale as left arm comes up, the right come. And this time we're going to tip toward the left, thinking about belly hugging towards spine. Feeling the stretch all along the right side. Face relaxed. Inhale, return. One more time each way. Breathing the left arm up. And tipping right. Breathing up. Inhaling, right arm. Again, engaging the core as we tip to the left. Beautiful. And inhale, back to center, and arms come down. 
and coming into a, a nice wide a stance for yourself. And we're going to do a forward fold, which is really nice movement for the hips and lower back. Oh, breathing in, gazing up, exhaling with soft knees, forward fold, straight back, coming down. We'll, we'll do it in stages. We'll rest briefly on our thighs and then coming into a fuller forward fold. You can rest your hands on the knees, the shins, the feet. If body allows, you can have the fingertips touching the floor. And let's do a gentle yes with the head and no. Inhale halfway up and then come all the way up. Nice. And then inhale, sweeping up, gaze up, exhaling as if the heart were leading. Soft knees, forward fold. This time, come all the way down again and with the left hand sweep over the right shoulder and arm and then with the left hand sweep over the with the right hand sweep over the left arm here we go inhale come up halfway and then all the way up beautiful and before we come to table let's find a mountain let's find our mountain pose Hugging belly button to spine, allowing the shoulders to soften down from the ears. Briefly come into cactus arms, feeling shoulder blades hug together. Arms relax down. And breathing into the elegance of mountain. Underside of the chin parallel with the floor. Imagining as we breathe in, the breath flowing in through the soles of our feet. And as we exhale, the breath flowing out through the crown of our head. Nice. And taking that rooted, solid feeling with you when our morning practice ends. And now coming down, I'd like to do some, some movements for the spine. So coming down to table. So finding your table, placing your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath shoulders, <clears throat> and let's extend the right leg and press out through the heel and bring the right leg back with knee under hip and then extend the left leg and then bringing it back. And flowing into cat and cow, so setting the table in the sense of having beginning with a, with a flat back. The toes, your toes can either be um, touching the floor in this position, or you can rest the tops of the feet on the floor, whichever is most comfortable for you. So as we breathe in, we're going to tip the tail, lengthen forward. And then with the next breath, we're going to arch up, have a curl or a cat shape. Be modest if you have any back issues. Breathing in again, tipping the tailbone, lengthening forward. Exhale as we come into the cat shape. Inhale, tipping, gazing forward. Exhaling, hugging belly button to spine as we curl up into cat. Setting the table once more with a flat back. Again, extending the right leg. Then let it lift to hip height. And you can have this as your sunbird balance or if body allows, extending the opposite arm. So left arm extends out right leg. This pose is very beneficial to increase our balance. So really appreciate the stretch from the toes to the fingertips. Returning hands and knee, opposite side. Extending the left leg, press out through the heel. Lifting the leg up to hip height. 
right arm, left leg, and breathing in to sunbird. <clears throat> Easy breath, balanced, rooted, and strong. Bring the hand and the knee back. Beautiful. And doing some circles now to bring ease to the lower back and the hips. Bringing our hands a little bit in front of the shoulders as we breathe in, circling forward. Exhaling, tail bone a little bit towards the heels and again circling. Being nice and easy and really pay attention to how your body is feeling. And go the other way. Make any modifications or adjustments for your comfort. And one more time. Really nice. Beautiful. And coming now, and we're going to find child. <laughs> so in, in your, I'm widening my legs. I'm bringing my tailbone down towards my heels. I'm extending out and softening into child's pose. Really nice stretch for the lower back. It's also a lovely stretch to connect with breath. Breathing in, noticing your belly rounding. Breathing out, noticing belly easing. And now coming up, and we're going to find our way onto our backs. Onto your back. Nice. And bring now the knees up towards torso. And circle. Circling your legs. And then circle in the other direction. Nice. And then let's circle the right leg to the right, the left leg to the left. Here we go. Good. And let's go the other direction. Good. Placing the soles of your feet down, hip width apart. I like to do some pelvic tilts with you. I think that is also a beautiful way to bring ease to the lower back. It's very, very beneficial. So our feet are hip width apart, bringing your heels um, as close to the buttocks as you feel comfortable. Palms are on the floor. As you breathe in, lifting your waist, the tailbone tips towards the floor. And then as you exhale, you press your waist down and your tailbone tips up toward the ceiling. Breathing in as the waist flows off the floor. And exhaling as waist presses to the floor. Nice. And then waist lifts. Beautiful. Very nice. And Bringing the left leg into torso, you can interlace your hands behind the left thigh or below the left knee. The right leg remains bent, or you can extend it out, lengthen it on the floor. Breathing in. And as you exhale, pressing the left leg in towards the armpit. Inhale. Exhale again, pressing left leg in towards the left armpit. Beautiful. And separating the fingers as the left leg extends up. Again, you can have the right leg extended or it can be bent. Holding on to the extended left leg at the thigh and do some circling of the left leg. Yeah, nice. Circle the other way. Come to stillness. Relaxing the face, shoulders and belly as you circle the left ankle. One direction, then the other. 
and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Beautiful. And then imagining that the energy from this left leg is reaching out, the sole of, of the foot is reaching to the wall in front of you. So letting that left leg come on down. This is also a nice core strengthener. Bending the left leg in and bringing your hands around the right thigh or below the right knee. As you inhale, pressing the right bent leg in toward the right armpit, strengthening not only the leg, but the hands and arms as well. Breathing in and soften. Exhale and pressing right leg in towards right armpit. Beautiful. And extending the leg, clasping the right thigh and doing some circling with the right thigh. Other way. And then we're going to point and flex, point and flex. You might notice a stretch at the calf area. And then some circling. One way and then the other. Beautiful. Separating fingers. And again, <clears throat> you can imagine that the sole of the right foot the energy is going towards the wall in front of you. And so slowly lowering that right leg. Get a really nice abdominal strength. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> nice. And now opening the legs and let them relax open. Arms are by your side. And we're, we're going to be taking several relaxing breaths together. So placing hands on belly. As you breathe in, noticing the rise of the abdomen. As you breathe out, noticing the belly hugging towards spine. Again, as you breathe in, noticing the rise of the belly. And as you breathe out, noticing the change that occurs. One more time. Exhaling. And now to end with a brief meditation based on Thich Nhat Hanh, his, his um, technique. Breathing in. I am nourished with all that is good. <clears throat> Breathing out, I soften. Breathing in, I am nourished with all that is good. Breathing out, I soften and relax. Breathing in, I'm nourished with all that is good. Breathing out, I soften and relax. Wishing you a, a nourishing, wonderful day. Thank you.